army of beauties. That's a phrase the Western media concocted because I'd never heard that in South Korea. In South Korea, they're just called the cheerleaders or beautiful cheerleaders. So this business of beauty or cheerleaders or army, first of all, they're not an army and they're not cheerleaders. They're actually college students who've been rounded up by the government to be sent overseas to look pretty. So these young women are just citizens who they've been chosen because the regime put some selection criteria which has to do with young age, looking pretty, whatever they consider, from a good family, having loyalty to the party, and of a certain height, about five foot three at least. It's almost like a beauty contest, but except it's not a beauty contest because you've been forced to take this position. So, and you don't have an option as a North Korean citizen. So when we're seeing these young women cheering, they're not like cheerleaders that you see. They didn't come there on their own will. They've been ordered by their regime. So they'll go back to their, to their lives and it's as if these past few days never happened for them because they're not allowed to discuss any of it back home. But you know, this is not that unusual. In North Korea citizens are rounded up for a different purpose. If you go to North Korean restaurants, there are about over a hundred of them. A lot of them in China, Cambodia, Malaysia. These restaurants are served by North Korean women. They're not waitresses. They're just young women who've also been selected to serve there and sing and pour drinks for foreign men and raise cash. Somehow this, this has been turned into one of North Korea's greatest propaganda success. Despite the fact that this is the second time South Korea has hosted the Olympics, the first time was back in 88, which was marred by North Korea's terrorist attack against South Korea by bombing an airplane which killed over 100 civilians. This time, it just looks to be almost hijacked by North Korea in the moment having been used for legitimizing North Korea. And what we're seeing in the media is all about all the positive aspects of North Korea, which is astounding. North Korea is one of the biggest gulags in the world, and they conducted a sixth nuclear test last September. That's merely five months ago. So the turnaround of North Korea in the world's eye has just changed overnight, it seems. It's a really an odd phenomenon. There's an amnesia in the world about actually what's really going on with North Korea. That country is really nothing to do with either cheerleaders or Olympics, which actually is about the world coming together. North Korea is the one place the world is not allowed to enter, and its citizens cannot actually come out of their country to see the world.